Hello grade 10 learners, have a nice day. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be discussing to you about problem solving on arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence. By the way, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and please click the notification bell so you will be notified if I have new videos. Thank you. Now let us consider the first problem. A basketball player signs a contract with a starting annual salary of 400,000 pesos with raises of 40,000 pesos per year. What will be his salary on the seventh year? Part of solving worded problem is that you have to read and understand. And of course, you have to analyze also whether the problem is an example of arithmetic or geometric. The given problem is an example of arithmetic sequence. Why? Because of this condition that there will be raise of 40,000 per year for the annual salary of the player. We can illustrate it further in a tabular form. So we have for year one or first year, the salary is 400,000. Since the condition is there will be raise of 40,000 per year so on the second year, the salary will become 440,000. 400,000 plus 40,000. And on the third year, the salary will become 480,000. So 440 plus, I mean 440,000 plus 40,000, we have 480,000. So if you have C, we were able to form an arithmetic sequence. So we have now to determine the, the given data. So first term is 400,000. The common difference, so 440,000 minus 400,000, that is 40,000. Or just simply copy 440,000 is the amount of race per year. And lastly, we have n. Seventh year, so therefore our n is 7. Now, copy the n term formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus quantity of n minus 1 times d. Substitute, so we are asking for, we are solving for the seventh term. Substitute first term by 400,000 plus quantity of n which is 7 minus 1 times 40,000. Simplify further. Just bring down 400,000. 7 minus 1 is 6. Bring down 40,000. So bring down 400,000. 6 times 40,000 is 240,000. Now we have to add 400,000 plus 200,000. 40,000 that is equal to 640,000. So do not forget the unit. So the salary of the basketball player on the seventh year is 640,000 pesos. Another example. During an initial phase of an outbreak of SARS, the number of infections can grow geometrically. If there were 5, 10, 20, infected on the first three days of an outbreak of SARS, how many will be infected on the seventh day? Okay, so this is an example of geometric sequence problem. To illustrate it further, for day one, number of infected, five. Day two, we have ten. So day three, twenty. Then we are asked to find the number of infected on the seventh day. So we can make use of the n term formula of a geometric sequence. But before that, let us determine first the given. So the given, 5 is the first term. Solve for the common ratio. So 10 divided by 5, that is equal to 2. So meaning to say 2 is the common ratio. Or n is 7 because you are asked to determine the number of infected on the seventh day. So, write the interim formula of geometric sequence. Next, substitute. 
our first term is 5, common ratio is 2, to the power of 7 minus 1. Next, simplify further, so we have to bring down 5, bring down 2, 7 minus 1 is 6. We have to simplify first, 2 to the power of 6. 2 to the power of 6, meaning to say we have to multiply 2 6 times. So 2 to the power of 6 is 64. Next, multiply 5 times 64, that is equal to 320. Therefore, there will be 320 people infected with SARS on the 7th day. Now let's have the third problem. Aling Rosa sales from his mini store on the first day is 800 pesos. She sets a goal to increase her daily sales by 100 pesos. If Aling Rosa's goal is met, what is her total sales at the end of 10th day? So this problem is asking for the total sales. So let us try to represent first. So for day 1, the sales is 800. For day 2, since it her goal is to increase it by 100, it will become 900. And on day 3, it will become 1000. So try to see, we were able to form an arithmetic sequence. So the first term is 800. The common difference is 100. And n is equal to 10 since you are asked to determine the total sales at the end of 10th day. So what is being asked here is the sum of the first n terms. So we are going to make use of the arithmetic series formula. Substitute our n is 10. So 10 divided by 2 times a quantity of 2. Our a sub 1 is 800 plus n is 10 minus 1. And then our D is 100. Simplify further. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 2 times 800 is 1,600. 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 times 100 is 900. Next, we have to bring down 5. Add 1,600 plus 900. And the sum is 2,500. Next, multiply 5 by 2,500. And the product is 12,500. Do not forget to write the unit. So, the total sales of Aling Rosa at the end of 10th day is 12,500 pesos. Now, let's have the fourth problem. A pendulum swings 10% shorter than its previous swing. If its first swing is 24 centimeters long how long will it be in its eighth swing what do you think what type of problem is problem number four now let us illustrate first so on the first swing the distance traveled is 24 centimeters on the second swing we have 21.6 how did we get 21.6 you base it on the problem the condition is saying that its swing is 10% shorter, shorter than its previous swing. So we have the first swing is 24. It will be subtracted by 10% of 24. So change 10% to decimal form. And the decimal form of 10% is 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 times 24, that is equal to 2.4. So 24 minus 2.4, that is equal to 21.6. That is why we have here 21.6. Now to determine the next swing, we have to get the 10% of 21.6 and subtract that to 21.6. So we have 21.6 minus 0 0.1, the 10% of 21.6. So bring down 21.6. 0 0.1 times 21.6, the answer is 2.16. So 21.6 minus 2.16, that is equal to 19.44. So the third swing is 
19.44 centimeters. So you just tap up to the third term because once you have already the three terms, you can already determine whether the sequence is arithmetic or geometric. So what do you think? What type of sequence? So this is an example of geometric sequence. Now let's determine the value of the first term. So the first term is 24. Now we will solve for the common ratio. Common ratio, second term, divided by the first term. So we have 0 0.9. Or you can have 19.44 divided by 21.6. You will have the same answer, 0 0.9. Our n is equal to 8 because we are asked to find its swing. I mean the distance cover on its 8th swing. So we are going to make use of the n-term formula of geometric sequence. We have a sub n equals a sub 1 r to the power of n minus 1. Now let's substitute. Our n is 8 so we have a sub 8 is equal to first term 24 times r is 0 0.9 to the power of n is 8 minus 1. So bring down 24, bring down 0 0.9, so 8 minus 1 is 7. Simplify further, bring down 24, 0 0.9 to the power of 7, meaning to say we have to multiply 0 0.9 7 times. Okay, but if you have your scientific calculator, you can solve it easily. You just press the exponent symbol and then you will have 0 0.4783. So just round off your answer to the nearest 10,000. So you have 0 0.4783 and it will be multiplied by 24. For our final answer, just round your answer to the nearest hundreds. So that's why we have here 11.48. So therefore, on its, on its eighth swing, the pendulum travels about 11.48 centimeters. Next problem. A certain candy manufacturing company is making 500 bags of candy per week. The company is planning to increase its production by 100 bags each week until it will produce 1,500 bags. In what week will the company produce 1,500 bags of candies? Okay, let's try to illustrate the problem. So week 1, number of bags of candies produced is 500. Since the company is planning to increase by 100 on the second week, there will be 600. And on the third week, there will be 700. The question is, in what particular week Will the company produce 1,500 bags of candies? So this is an arithmetic problem. So we're going to solve this arithmetically. Our first term is 500. Your common difference is 100. Increase by 100 per week. Or we can have 600 minus 500, that is 100. Or 700 minus 600 is also 100. Now, we are also given the last term, which is 1,500. Now, we are going to make use of the n-term formula. In here, what is unknown is the value of n. So, let's substitute. N, A sub n is 1,500. Our first term is 500 plus quantity of n minus 1 times d, which is equal to 100. Now simplify. So bring down 1,500, bring down 500. So n times 100, that is 100n. Negative 1 times 100 is negative 100. Now bring down 1,500 and combine 500 and negative 100. So 500 minus 100, that is equal to 400. Bring down 100n. Solve for n, but we cannot solve n right now. We have to transpose first 400 to the left side of the equation. 
So, 1,500 minus 400. Positive 400 became negative 400. Equals, bring down 100 in. So, 1,500 minus 400, that is equal to 1,100. Just bring down 100 in. Next, we have it here. So, 1,100 is equal to 100 in. So, to solve for n, we have to divide both sides of the equation by 100. So, 100n divided by 100, that is equal to n. And 1,100 divided by 100, that is equal to 11. So, this 11 here refers to the week. So, it means that the company will produce 1,000... 500 bags of candies on the 11th week. Hopefully you learned something for today's video. Please do like and if you have questions regarding the video, just write it in the comment box. Kindly share to other students for them to learn to and master the lesson, especially to the grade 10 students. Don't forget to subscribe to be updated for more math lesson videos and turn on the bell for notifications. Before I end, let me share to you one of the verses from the Bible. Blessings are upon the head of the just, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. Proverbs 10 verse 6. That's all for today and God bless you all.